film photographers. Welcome back to another Keen J's video, and today we're going to be comparing two films Agfa Vista 400 and Lamography Color 100. Now, both of these are fairly cheap and they're widely used in the film community, and they're known for the great results. Uh, for being cheap film, they actually produce really good stuff. But, you know, shooting a film in one particular style won't really show the full potential of what the film can actually do. So today I hit up my boy Jacob and I told him, I was like, hey, you want to shoot? He's a model, he owns his own clothing line, and he agreed to come out and shoot with me. So we went out and shot portraits using these two films to see if they could capture, you know, skin tones, natural colors, you know, everything that a good portrait film needs. Usually when you think portraits, you think portrait 400, but I'm trying to find different options, cheaper options for other people to use rather than the $8 a roll portrait. I've never shot these films before, so it was the first time for me, so I'm excited as well. So let's get on to it. For gear, I'll be shooting the Canon EOS 3 with a 50mm 1.8. Also a 28 to 90mm 4 to 5.6, a photo journal, and of course some film. So with the next couple shots, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use some foreground. We got this dope little like railing. It has some good leading lines towards that way, but I could also use that in between for some foreground. So that's what I'm gonna try to do with the next couple pictures. Alright guys, so I got the film back and honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised with how they turned out. Better than I expected. So first off, I think the Activista 400 captured skin tones beautifully. One, uh, It also had really good saturation. It wasn't to the point where it was overwhelming, but it was just right. The grain structure as well is visible, but it wasn't like, bam, I'm here. It's, I'm here, 
and I'm out the grain, so I'm just gonna let it happen, I'm gonna let it be. Now, is Acta Vista better than Portia? Probably not, but it still does a great job with portraits. Now, Lomography Color 100 to me wasn't that bad either. This film seems to capture a lot of natural colors. You know, it does a decent job of capturing skin tones, but probably not as good as Acta or Portra. But one thing I do love about this film is how saturated the thing gets. Like, if you look here, all of the colors popping. Like, his shoes are red, his hat is yellow, the background leaves. Like, all of the colors really stand out. And this film almost reminds me of Ektar 100, which is also 100 speed film. So overall, I don't think the Lomography Color 100 is bad. Uh, you know, it could be adapted to better situations other than portraits. Alright, so now which one is better? Well, you know, that really depends on what you're looking for. If you're choosing between the two films and you only had the choice of one of the other, I say for portraits, go with Acta Vista. It just captures skin tones just a little bit better and isn't as saturated as the Lomography Color. But if you're going in the other direction, you might want to go for Lomography Color 100. If you're looking for something that's really saturated, a uh, high visible film, Lomography Color is probably going to be your choice. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up, you guys. Thank you for watching. Comment down below, out of the two films, which one you would personally shoot. Or if you could pick another cheat film, which one would it be and why. I have a giveaway coming soon, so that video will be up shortly, probably sometime this week. Don't forget to turn on those push notifications right up here, click the little bell. Not only does it inform me when I upload a video, but it helps us out, helps this community grow, and yeah. As always, you guys, it's me, King James. Until next time.